Well, this place is exactly as I suspected. Summer holiday homes, no one's around today. Um, and I have just been eating breakfast cereal today, drinking coffee, and um, doing a bit of video editing. Yeah, just a lovely area here. All these vacated holiday homes and hotels. Just really quiet and peaceful. This is a sweet dog, but very, very annoying because she's always jumping around on me. <laughs> Every time I open the car door, she jumps in, tries to jump in the car. <laughs> And um, I've just been parked here for the last two nights. Unfortunately, I can't encourage her with, with pets because she just gets a little bit overexcited, don't you? Be back at the car. Be back at the car. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Hello, friend. so nice to feel the warmth of the sun again it's been i mean it's been months this is the first time it's creeping over 10 degrees since i arrived here so it's a real treat today It really is. 
And all park ups in Georgia come with um, their very own doggy friend. Come here. Hello. Hello. What's that? What's that? What's that, eh? What's that? All right. <laughs> oh, there's actually a beach here. <sighs> well, I'll say it again, just being warm and comfortable outside again is just such a joy. Having spent weeks in the snow and cold mountains, it's just lovely. Those people who live in Los Angeles and say, oh, it's sunny every day, it's, it's not for me. You've got to go through, I do love, like the seasons and I'm really glad I've had winter in Georgia. It's been very enjoyable. Driving with the window open. Well, I'm in the uh, Mitrala National Park and I had no idea it was going to be this snowy here. Uh, this is where I did my um, original first walk in uh, Georgia. Where I met my original Georgian doggy friend and I just wanted to go for a similar walk today but I don't know if the trail has been cleared um, but yeah I didn't know it was this snowy around here well it just doesn't get enough sun I guess this area must have had a lot of snowfall over the last few weeks nice sea level botanical garden. And it's absolutely huge this place. just to be warm and outside again 
the sound of the birds and the smell of the vegetation and plants. It's just this little glimpse of spring. Nice place. It's all four seasons available in this park today. four pounds well spent and uh, now I'm just heading back up the coast to find somewhere to park for the night it's like four o'clock so I've gone with the um, cheese and bacon flavored instant noodles by uh, roll Tom this evening uh, it's got some pictures of some vine tomatoes and onion and parsley on there as well so um, looking forward to these ones I like to just turn it off when the water boils, there's enough heat to cook all of that. Okay, so now it's all up to this sachet to um, be um, contain bacon, cheese, um, tomatoes and all that stuff. So I've got high hopes for this. Hmm. It looks very similar to all the other ones. It's all right. It's the seasoning from like bacon crisps. I love coastal areas just because it's so easy to find good spots to park especially at this time of year this apartment block's just completely empty and um yeah just enjoyed a nice run this morning so i'm just happy just it's so nice today just hanging out here Well, I met this, I met a couple of Russian blokes at the um, botanical gardens yesterday and they invited me for a campfire on the beach, but I just couldn't be bothered to do it down in Batumi and then they said they would hitchhike up and have it here so I was like alright yeah that's fine um, so they're on their way now the bench. one bench is cool right? I think so too one bench you can sit yeah. another oh, good. Yeah, all right. five people here yeah. nice though, yeah. makes sense
Japanese <laughs> way of drinking. <laughs> Look at all these random cars hanging out. And I'll just take this spot here. What a cool place to spend a rainy day. I just went to um, Andre and Sergei's um, hotel room. Why would anyone get a hotel room? I mean, a dingy little room with you've got a receptionist and a security guard downstairs and then this tiny room without any, like, any community, nothing, like, at least in an Airbnb, you're part of a little community and, you, you know, you're somewhere. Hotels, just you could be anywhere. You're just in a room. Um, yeah, when it's rainy, like you've got nothing. Whereas I'm just like I'm still pretty much outside, just not wet. Well, I've got a major leakage problem. Water's coming in from the pedals on the drive. I thought it was just the driver's side, but it's completely soaked on the other side where all my garage stuff is stored. I don't know where it's coming from. I've had to park in a car wash that's at least partially covered because it's just soaking down here. That's not even rainwater. It's not ra it's not even raining in here. That's coming from inside the car.
all blocked in there. Well, I think I found the issue. There was there's some section under the windscreen with drainage holes either side. Both sides were completely blocked and filling up with water um, and then overflowing into the car and it was just dripping down both sides. Um, so I'm going to head back out into the rain and um, see if it's... I've tried to kind of unblock the holes. I'm going to just see if it stops leaking. Um, they've got pressure washers at the car washes. Um, so I can blast the blast the drainage holes clear tomorrow, but it hasn't stopped raining all day, and it won't for the next few days. So I'm glad I've hopefully diagnosed the problem, and I've just booked an Airbnb for tomorrow so I can dry everything off because it's soaked everything in my garage. My solar panel soaking, um, yeah, just all my like winter stuff and clothes and just, yeah, it's all just very damp in here. Well, the snow stopped a little bit so I can actually talk. Um, I, I solved the problem last night, luckily, unblocking those drainage holes because um, when I noticed it, I was right by the sea and um, it was dripping through the, like, along the fuse box. So um, if it had short-circuited some fuses and the car wouldn't have started, I wouldn't have been able to get out and diagnose that and it would have completely flooded um, the car and I'd have been stranded there all night um, and today without knowing who to call or you know so I was lucky I noticed it in time and I could start the car and get to a shelter and uh, sort, sort out the problem and I'm just trying to dry the footwells now with the um, with the uh, the old uh, the old fans but um yeah that is this lifestyle there's a fine line between it all being great and it all being disaster so it was a lucky escape really um and yeah i think that is it for this winter georgia car camping season i'm getting an airbnb for a few nights and then i'll hang around the coast for a while um before before moving on with my trip so um yeah, this was only meant to be a couple of weeks in Georgia, but I've had a, a great time as you've seen. So thank you for following along and I will see you soon in the next video. Washing machines on the go. I've got a drying station here. I um, uninstalled the cooker from the uh, from the kitchen and put it up here, so it's it's aiding the triple threat drying process with the hair dryer and the air conditioner up there. And um, I've got the charging station here. Um, yeah, I've had a shower. And uh, yeah, that's what that's what apartments are for me. You just got to squeeze every little bit of electricity and, and whatever you can out of them and then just get back on the road. <laughs>